Good morning. Ah, Royal Lord Manx weather is chucking its finest at us at the moment. We are on the tail end of Storm Dennis and we're waiting for <coughs> Storm Ellen to arrive apparently. So it's raining somewhat. I'm at the harbour walls of Ramsey. We've got twin harbour walls, both with dinky little lighthouses on the end. And it looks really nice. Unfortunately, the wind is blowing the rain into us. So the minute I put filters on, it's just a no-go. Even with a lens hood, because I thought I'd get the 70 to 200 out from where I'm sat, I'd get quite a nice shot of one of the walls with the white lighthouse and the green light on the end. But even with the lens hood on, I'm still going to get the front element of the lens wet. So <sighs> I've resigned myself to sitting in Maddie and having some breakfast. The rain is supposed to clear around about mid-morning-ish, apparently. But it could be mid-afternoon, depending on which weather forecast you look at. So I think it's time to put the kettle on, have some breakfast and sit and watch the weather out the window. stopped Woohee! big and breezy though and big and chilly it's actually about nine degrees but the wind chill Woo so i've ventured out of the car and i've come down to the piers oh. so at the moment i've just popped the tent stop in there's a camera around here somewhere there it is because we have it's just not no, we've got really goopy, yucky cloud up there. Look at the colour of that water. <laughs> I may have mentioned that before. It's too windy to put you on the gimbal, so we are moving about a bit. Oh, my ears are getting cold. Oh, you just saw it there. There's just a band of really yucky cloud. And although it's windy down here, the cloud just doesn't seem to be moving that much. It's most bizarre. So, I'm, as I say, I'm on F13. I'm at ISO 100 and I've got a 10 stop in with the intention of turning it mono. I also popped the polarizer on just to try and take the glare off the water. I'm not convinced it's working because the sun is coming in at slightly more than 90 degrees. But it's actually quite a clear day. We've even got blue sky coming up there. Although it's not raining, and the camera is fairly low. I am trying to stand behind it just to defend it a little bit from the gusts that are coming in from behind. I think I prefer the wind coming in from behind than shooting into the wind. And I can't believe how slowly the clouds are moving. They're sort of rushing in above us here and then they kind of stop. <laughs> it's bizarre. I wish I could get this thing to show you the clouds. Yeah, I mean, that looks lovely over there. But in front of us, very little. And it's just stationary, it's most peculiar. Now, I've got the 10 stop in, as I said, and I've upped the ISO to 200 because, because of the wind, the exposures were taking too long with the 10 stop. So I think I've got it to about 95 96 seconds which is just about right oh look at those clouds but don't move now the phone's picking up on those clouds oh and that looks really nice well i've come over to the other side of the harbour walls and i just want to look at those clouds and that's why i've come over shooting from the other side it was really just sort of bland, goopy, yucky clouds. They weren't really doing anything for me. And I saw this lot coming in, I thought, I'll just whiz over. The wind has picked up considerably. You can see behind me there is a storm coming in back there. Yeah, and here comes the rain. <laughs> it's a bit cold as well. I could see this coming when I was sat in the car and thought, I need to be quick here because we're going to get very, very wet. And there wasn't supposed to be any rain for the rest of the day. 
Crikey, yeah, look at it over the mountains there. Really goopy. Whew. <sighs> well, I didn't see that one coming. Bloody hell. We've just had hail, got caught in a hailstone storm. Jesus wept. That really did close in quick. Whew. Hopefully it's just a passing shower. <sighs> Blooming hailstones sting. You can see the leading edge out there. I'm just sort of trying to shelter behind some shipping containers. Hmm, one down jacket, very wet. <sighs> I'm going to give it a minute or so, see if the worst passes over. Let's just have a look around the corner and see if there's much more to come round. Yeah, you can see it in the background. It's going to pass over. I might just stick it out and wait here. the Isle of Man and who know the TT you'll know who I mean when I say the king of the mountain Joey Dunlop to my mind the greatest TT racer and road racer in general of all time the guy was an absolute legend he was quiet unassuming he absolutely loved the sport he ate breathed drank slept motorbikes he died, sadly, um, at a little road race in Estonia. He died doing what he loves, or what he loved, and you can't ask for a better way to go than that. So I'm up on almost at the top of Snaefell, not quite. The, mount, the top of the mountain's up there, but it is too flipping windy to go any further than this. But the views from up there are absolutely stunning, if he's not blowing a gale. So I've come up because I've wanted a good shot of the Joey statue. I think it was donated by Arai, the helmet makers. I think he was uh, one of their riders. And I'm not sure if you can see that I'm getting blown all over the place and trying to hang on to the camera. The clouds are moving quite nicely. So I was on F13. I've got it at ISO 200 just to try and speed up the process a bit. I have a six, uh, 10 stop in and I have a 0.6 hard grad. <sighs> and I'm getting around about 30 seconds and I'm having to... Oh, just a sec. Do something if the camera wants to work. I'm having to shield the camera as best as I can from the wind because it is whipping up here something wicked just see if I can stand up without losing the camera in the background you're not gonna oh there you are this is the bungalow and leads you on to oh his hail would rise you just there's a footbridge over the actual circuit is a public road during the week or during any other day other than race week so oh good god that wind is blowing i'm just waiting for the sun whee, to glimpse out from behind those clouds and put a little bit of light on the statue so i can get a shot with some good light well i'm going to put this down now and try and concentrate on what i'm doing Oh, 
was a bit chilly out there. I left the heating on in uh, in Mad just so that it was a little bit warmer when I got back into the van. But ooh, definitely a bit on the breezy side. Now this next reader's image come in from a very good friend of mine, Mark Bodie, and it's an image I have yet to get. Most people I suspect will recognise this. It is some. It's the shell at Cleveley's. I think it's known as St Mary's Shell. Or is it St Mary's Beach at Cleveley's? One of the two. It's the shell at Cleveley's. And he's caught it on a beautiful long exposure. Some lovely colours in there as well. I need to get there and get that image. I think I've been once and it was blowing a hoolie. Very similar today. There was no way you could do a long exposure of that thing. So thank you, Mark. Thank you for sending it in. If anybody's interested, Mark has a YouTube channel. Um, there's a link up here somewhere. Uh, nip over and have a look. Show him some love. 